Welcome to The Hairy Vegetarian. I'm Stephen Russell, and I have with me today Evan Courtney. We're going to make Spanakopita. So Spanakopita, as you may or may not know, is a spinach pie. It's a Greek dish. Um, it's got all kinds of good things in it, like onions and garlic and feta and ricotta and dill and phyllo dough. So that's what we're going to make today. Um, so I'll start by chopping up a medium-sized onion. Medium dice. Yeah, about a medium dice. And this dish is really good, um, you know, for dinner on a weeknight or something. Or um, the way we're making it today is that um, we're we're doing it all in one dish. Um, but you can do it in little triangles. Um, which is really good for like a party, you know, because it's, everybody each has their own individual little hors d'oeuvre. Like the frozen ones that this is going to be so much better than. Exactly. Now we can just put these over into the pan. Olive oil? Olive oil in the pan. And it's about, oh, you know, medium heat. I'll turn it up actually a little bit. I think. Um, but you don't want it to get too hot because what you want to happen is for the onions to really get golden brown, um, which takes, you know, a little bit a little bit of time. You gotta stir it around, let it cook. Um, so that's probably, you know, 15 minutes or so of waiting for the onions to get ready. Um, you can add some salt and pepper to that right now. Got our nice sea salt. Himalayan. Yeah. And then, you know, just kind of stir it up. Let the olive oil coat all of the onions. And probably have it in, in one layer as much as you can um, so that they can all have contact with the pan. And just sort of let it brown and then we'll do the next step. Alright, so our onions are nice and brown now, and we're gonna um, go ahead and chop up some garlic to add to it. We're using um, three cloves, one big one, two little ones. Go ahead and just throw it in. You don't want to throw it in too early because garlic really burns easily. Um, so you want to wait until the onions have gotten to the point where they're mostly um, cooked where you want it to be. Let the garlic cook together with the onions a little bit. And then we'll add our spinach. Um, it's two pounds of spinach and we got, what did you, the cut uh, frozen yeah, the frozen cut spinach, which is good. Um, so what we did was just to defrost it, just kind of soak it under cold water, and then you have to extract all the water. Really got to squeeze it all out because you want it to be as dry as possible. Um, and it loses a lot of its mass that way. You know, you squeeze out all that water, and it seems like it's a lot less, but that's just the way it goes. So. The water would just soak into the phyllo dough and get exactly. It would be no good. Yeah. So we can go ahead and add this in. Just kind of let it all cook together. Oh, some some recipes do call for sp fresh spinach. I say don't bother with it because it's just kind of. I, I mean, fresh spinach cooks down so much, and you just have to get you know you have to buy so much of it. Um, Why don't you grow it? Unless you grew it, I suppose, and then you could just use your own, but, yeah. So we're just going to kind of let this heat up a little bit, just kind of cook together with the onions and the garlic. Um, yeah, we're just going to let this kind of cook together for a little bit, um, and then you want to set it aside cool. Okay, so now we've let our uh, spinach and onion and garlic mixture cool, and we're going to add in the other components. First, we're going to do 
Um, half a cup of ricotta cheese. <laughs> um, and then we've got dill and nutmeg. Um, and I don't know, just maybe a teaspoon of each first and then kind of see. Just kind of eyeball it. Tell it looks good. Nutmeg. That's the nutmeg. Let's call that good for now. And then Sounds the good. dill. Yeah. I kind of like a lot of dill. And I think that really um, the dill is what makes this a uniquely, you know, it gives the unique flavor of Spanakopa. Um, then we've got feta. And again, so we'll do about a half cup of of feta. Pre-crumbled. Pre-crumbled. I think the whole thing. You could crumble your own. You could if you wanted to. Let's see. Uh, let's just do the whole thing. That looks about right. And, use. and yeah, just kind of mix it together. Um, you add a couple of eggs to bind it all together. Spinach, the feta. Then what we set up is our um, nine by thirteen baking dish. We're using glass. Um, probably the best thing to use, to be honest. And um, we have here the phyllo. Now, if you've never worked with phyllo before, or if you have, I suppose, um, what you should know is that it's really quite delicate. It's very thin sheets of pastry. Um, and so what you need to do is first, um, we've got Pam, so just Pam the dish so it doesn't stick. Or you can oil it, whatever you prefer. Um, and so then you get your first, and, and you should cover it with at least wax paper so it doesn't dry out throughout the process. Um, get, your, get your brush here and um, some olive oil, and get your first layer of phyllo, um, and you can find this. It, I think almost always comes frozen at the grocery store. See, that's kind of sticking. It's so delicate, you have to be very careful. Lay it down. It'll kind of overlap the, the dish, which is okay. And put down a layer of olive oil to cover the whole thing, and you'll do this six more times. So you'll want six layers on the bottom, and six layers on the top with the mixture in between. Okay, so we've got our bottom layer of uh, phyllo all in there, olive oil and all. So now I'm just going to spread out the spinach mixture evenly throughout the dish. It's very, very thin. It's like paper thin. Just put it on there. Kind of tuck it in. And then do your olive oil. So now you're going to do five more. Yep, so like then do five can. more, Oops, and then we'll pop it in the oven. Alright, so we've got uh, the top layers of phyllo in place. I'm just going to put a little bit of pepper on top, just to make it look nice. And then we've got our 350 degree oven going. And 
that's going to go for about 45 minutes. Okay, so we've got uh, the 45 minutes is up. I've got my heating pads on. We're going to pull it out. Oh, it looks great. Nice and browned. You see that? Pepper on the top. Looks great. So we're going to let it cool probably uh, 10 or 15 minutes just to kind of let it set up, gel together, and then we'll cut it up and eat it. Okay, so we've let it cool and we're ready to cut. Nice and crispy. Ooh, steamy. Mm. 